This is a quick little tip to show you how to insert a date into your page. And by date I mean some of us want to be able to put a last modified date or a, a date timestamp on our page. So the last time you save the page, it'll actually stick in the page. Dreamweaver CS4 has that built in. It's a pretty simple little function here. If you have any page available, doesn't matter which one you're working on, and let's say I, I start with a starter page. If I come down here to the bottom and I've got, let's let's say, some footer information, I can stick this in the footer, and you can put this anywhere you want for the most part. If I put my cursor somewhere and come up to the Insert menu, I'll be able to see this thing called Date. Now, if I select that or choose that, it's going to allow me to insert a date and or a time format. So when you save the page, you can make it so that this automatically changes to be the date and time of when exactly you save it. We can change the day format, so it looks a little different. I'll do like Thursday like that. I can pick just about any kind of date format I want. I'll choose something like this. And I can pick a time format if you want the time to show up. So I'll choose a time format. If you want this to insert and just be the date when you first inserted it and it doesn't change, don't select this. <laughs> if you want when you save the page every time it to update this, select this. So I'll select update automatically on save. As soon as I click OK, it's going to stick it in there. Now, what's really cool, you can see right there, I just picked up the date and time. You guys can see exactly when I did this. If I go to look at it, I save it, and go to split code view. I want to show you this. I'll click on split code view. You're going to be able to see that what it does is it inserts literally just the text for the date and time. And it's got these little what are called comment tags around it. These guys right here. You guys, it's not using JavaScript in your page. It's not using any kind of script or anything. It's literally just typing that into your page. These comment tags are for Dreamweaver to use its own scripting and stuff like that to figure out what the date and time is and then just print it into your page. So this is stuff that needs to stay there. These little comment tags that need to stay there if you want it to update. Okay. So if I click back in Design View and go look at this in the browser, come out to, let's say, Firefox or something like that, Scroll down, I can see that I've got my date and time down here at the bottom. So it's showing up pretty easily. Now you guys can format that any way you want to. If I go back to Dreamweaver, you can use CSS. If you decide to change, let's say you don't want the time in there, you just want the date. If you have it selected, come to the Property Inspector. You'll see that I can choose Edit Date Format right there. And I could pick another type of format if I want to. So it's always editable. You can do just about anything you want, and it's right there. You can move it at any time. You can cut it. You can delete it. You can do anything you need to do it. But it's just a simple, simple way to put something like a, a save-on date or a, a modified date or something like that in your pages. You will see this on certain pages. People will do this. So just a quick tip.